Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be checking out Persona 3 Reloaded. It's just been launched and I think it's been less than 24 hours. It's nighttime for me and I think it's the perfect time to play this game and let's check it out with you guys. So let's dive right in. Wow, a really nice introduction. I love the song, by the way. I'm not totally sure if this is copyrighted or anything, but uh, anyway, my channel is not monetized, so it's not going to matter too much. Let's go to configs. So uh, game settings, graphic settings, I have it at uh, custom because everything is high. And uh, maybe I'll turn the frame limit to 60 because I don't know, I have an 8 gigabytes of VRAM for my uh, 4060, so maybe that's okay, 1920, everything, VSync is off, maybe I'll turn VSync on as well, because that's something which is really important, and I'm using a controller by the way, so uh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's get into it. I just loaded the game, I was just trying to mess around with the settings and trying to see the controls, because this is my first time playing Persona, and... Generally, I'd go with easy, but uh, let's just go with normal because it's a video and I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you guys. So anyway, I mean, I'm an expert gamer, by the way. I never had a gaming laptop, so. That's beautiful. to my head and then pull the trigger come on there's no way I can't your attention please today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction we apologize for any inconvenience the next stop is Iwatodai Iwatoda, Iwatoda, 
This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Okay, so we are in control. This is my first time with Persona, by the way. I was just checking out a few YouTube videos, just trying to get a feel, like, uh, what sort of thing is Persona. And I, I know that it's very famous with a with a lot of people. And being an anime fan, uh, not a hardcore fan, but a casual fan, I was really trying to check out what this game is all about, and it really intrigued me. I'm on Windows, by the way, and this is Game Pass. So I just got it day one, and I didn't have to buy it. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins.
Wait! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Here's your room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Kid. What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Don't worry about it, then. I'd better get going. Um... I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! Okay, wow, we're in our room already. That's pretty good. Performance looks pretty good on PC, by the way. Okay, so pretty sure we're not gonna use the desk right now. Because it's time to sleep. Let's put everything in our closet. And purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. That's very handy to remember. Okay, we got everything over there. Now we should probably go to sleep. We'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Uh, 
This is when you can drink hot dogs. Good morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. Wow, so we're finally at the school, that's the exit. And probably not the best idea to go over there. Wow, it looks lively. Pretty cool place, huh? Let's just see what the bulletin board says. Or maybe we can just listen to people talk. Name's not on the list, man. That's a, that's a thing to worry about. I have the worst teacher ever. Yep, happened to me too. Hmm. Oh, there it Class is. Class F. Class F, huh? Classic. Homeroom teacher is. What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Dude, you're in high school. Frivolous student, I love it. Fair point. Right, let's uh, let's head to the office. Faculty office should be here on the first floor. Okay. Listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. Classic French cliché accent. That's what I like to hear, my boy! Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. That's a nice way to welcome a person, actually. What's in here? Oh, it's the bathroom. Huh? The library? It's strange. They even made sure to check the map. Where am I? Dude, she's lost. And so are we. Unfortunately, I can't read Japanese. Head to the faculty office. Maybe this one? Okay, this is the printing room. And welfare training room. Nurse's office. Faculty office. Are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... 
I'm sorry. Uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst. Hey! You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Uh, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? What? Don't look at me like that. Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei, you. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, hey, it's Yucatan. Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Wow, I didn't know that this kind of mechanics existed in the game. So you can form relationships with people, I'm guessing. Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Dude's craved for attention, I guess. Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? People are people been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You're the man. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head 
we can walk to the station again. I gotta say, I love the vibe of this game. Indifferent student. I love how they're labeled frivolous student, indifferent student. Let's just go to the back and see. Or, or, or to the front. Pubescent student. Kind looking student. She's actually kind. That's, that's pretty good. Let's just head back. I didn't forget. I'm just trying to yeah. talk to you, dude. Good grief. You think so? on their run. Say, you thinking about joining a club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's at Iwatodai, right? Orms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Wow. The metro station is so vibrant. Fun fact, I actually never got to stay in a dorm for the most part of college life. It was only, I guess, for two months when I was a foreign exchange student at, uh, at a different country. But other than that... Guys, I'm pretty bad at navigating, okay, so there might be a lot of editing happening in these videos. And that applies for me in real life as well. I could easily get lost without, I don't know, Google Maps or something. Wasn't it this way? I'm pretty sure it said it was this way. Yeah, so I am at the Idodawi Iwatorai station strip mall. And how do I change? Okay, so you just use the D pad. That's a go, student dormitory. Front entrance. Now well, let's go to the dorm. Um, 
go to bed. Yo, it's barely evening. By the way. Seems like everybody just wants me to take a good rest, so that's what I'll do. And it was down the hallway at the end. By the way guys, this is my first gameplay recording video, so... I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. It's a good thing I didn't pay attention then. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you hone those skills. What phrase symbolizes summer? A rain of flowers, mystical mirage, vivid carp streamers. I'm gonna go with the rain of flowers. What even? Okay. Vivid carp streamers. Mystical Mirage and Arena Flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June, and Arena Flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms start literally raining flowers, yeah. What's he gonna do? Hold a grudge against me? This is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Not really, Ikutsuki. Please, have a seat. 
I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? I'm not sure if I should ask this, especially since she told me not to. Let's just go with this, who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. Wow, that must be scary at night. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? So he's gonna make us ask all the other questions. You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, he's definitely hiding something. Any other questions? Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what are you saying? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Amy? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. it will be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, yeah, same time, same place. The program you just heard is sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. Still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. 
In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. on to this. Until we meet again. Story's progressing, I like it. See how it goes. Now, moving on. Old Japan. That's very exciting, actually. Good. I think I should stay away. Call it the bomb. Oh. Okay. So we are timid, we are a slacker, and charm is plain. Sounds like me. Somewhere on the way home? Sure. I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. That game is rigged, guys, I'm telling you. Let's check out the CDs first. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. It's gonna be interesting to see. Ah, damn it! 
Oh, come on, man. I cannot leave an empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo! <laughs> Everybody loses at this game, man. Everybody does. Okay, let's go to our room and let's sleep, I guess. Let's just talk to Kari Takeba. By the way. Okay, let's uh, let's go and sleep. That's what we do. We come back from school and we go straight to sleeping. Is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. We're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba. Go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. We have to get out of here now! Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back! Oh, wait! Take this, just in case!
okay? All right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Famous last words. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Let's go! Yeah. It's here. <laughs> Wait.
was that? to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. And that power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kinda relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine, too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At 
At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them, too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Okay, I think that was a pretty good look at Persona 3 in the first part, and if you guys want more, just let me know, and till then, I'll catch you on the next side. Peace! And I'll probably go sleep too, because it's, I don't know what time it is right now, let's just check. It's 1.45 in the morning, so, yeah. Good night, folks. Have a nice day.